In previous videos, we've talked about problems with spreadsheets and how to address them with testing. But spreadsheets just aren't always the right solutions. There are problems that you can come up with in your work that are just not solvable with a spreadsheet. And those are the type of problems that we're going to talk about today, when not to use a spreadsheet. So over the past few weeks, you've learned a lot about me and the things I like, like teaching and craft beer. But there's one of my hobbies that we haven't talked about, and that's going to the movies. I really like the movies. I even have a subscription to the movie theater in my city that I can go to all movies unlimited. So this week's exercises will be all about a little movie database I've made in a spreadsheet where we have movies, the studios that made the movies, the rating of the movie, so when you can see it, the year that the movie has been released in, and the type of movie, the, the genre, so an action adventure, and we have a lot of data. And in addition to the movies, in our database we also have actors and the movies that they have played in. So here you can see that Android 3000 has played in a volcano movie. So this is a nice little database with movie information that we can analyze. So there are lots of anal analyses we could do on this data. For instance, we could analyze the studios that actors have worked for. We could be interested in the question, what actor in our database has worked for the most different, the, the highest number of different studios? So we can get the information in from a studio with a VLOOKUP. This is, should all be easy for you if you've watched all of the videos. So we add a VLOOKUP and we get the information of every studio associated with a movie. And then we can select all of that data there it is, we can select all of this data and add it to a pivot table. This should also be a piece of cake if you've watched all videos. So we add our data to the data model because we're going to want to use a distinct count to calculate the different number of studios that people have worked for. So here's our pivot table, we drag in the name of the actor, there it is, and then we drag in the studio and we get the number of studios that people have worked for. And there's one little thing that we still need to change, is we need to go to the pivot table properties, and we say we don't want to have the count, but we want to scroll down, we want to have the distinct count. And if this is done calculating, it takes a while, now we can sort, and then we can see that Christopher Lee has worked for the highest number of different studios, I think it's 42. Yes, there it is, it's 42. So we have a lot of data in our database and we can analyze it in different ways using VLOOKUP and using pivot table. We know that by now. But let's try to ask ourselves a different question. We would like to know for all of the actors, not the number of studios that they have worked for, but we like to know for every actor their bacon number. I thought bacon number was like a very familiar concept. I did the same exercise in my class here in Delft for 40 students, and I said, who knows what a bacon number is? And like two hands went up. So apparently it's a little bit of a movie geek thing. So I'll explain to you what it is. An actor's bacon number is the number of steps that an actor is removed from Kevin Bacon. So Kevin Bacon himself has bacon number one, and someone that has played in a movie with him, for instance, Ed Harris in Apollo 13, he will have bacon number two. Someone that has played in a movie with Ed Harris, like Nicolas Cage in one of my favorite movies, The Rock, will have bacon number three, because his distance to Kevin Bacon is two hops via Ed Harris. So in this way, we can chart everyone who has played in movies, based on their distance to Kevin Bacon. So the number of hops, the number of steps from Kevin Bacon defines the Bacon number. We should be able to calculate this information in our little movie database, right? Because we have the information. We know who has played in what movie. But how, how to get this out? How are we going to process the information in such a way that we get a nice little list of each actor with their Bacon number? So I challenge you, before you watch the rest of the videos, to try this. And don't try it on this huge database, but try it on this little database. We will put this online in the course website. It's just easier to play with such a little spreadsheet than with an entire list of thousands and thousands of actors. So please don't watch the next video yet. 
play with, download this, play with it, and try to see if you can come up with a way to analyze the Bacon number for each actor. Good luck!